Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, recording from an echoey hotel room. Uh, taking a look at some of my footage over here from the WonderCon Hasbro event over here in Anaheim, California. And you can see we have uh, the Deadpool and Wolverine figures on display as well as this new Neo Classic Iron Man figure, which looks way more to scale than uh, the older version from the Iron Man 3-Wave from way back when. It looks like it's Pretty much new stuff over there. Uh, Whiplash over here looks awesome. I, I know a lot of us have been wanting this figure, and it's uh, the animated Backlash version, if I remember the name. Damn it. But Whiplash, anyway, that's what I'm going to keep calling him. We have Count Nefaria over there. Uh, we have the Model 20 Iron Man looking awesome. Uh, I'm super stoked about this figure. I put him in that pose right there. And uh, I think, uh, and then I'm going to do a little articulation segment in a little bit. I'm going to talk over me uh, articulating the figure around. I also got to play with the She-Hulk quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that was very cool. The Hasbro team, you can see Ryan over here, uh, you know, moving things around. He was letting us play with the figures, which was really awesome. Uh, you can see uh, yeah, everybody all Huddling around, stuck about on Parallel Universe over there. Hey, what's up, on Parallel Universe? <laughs> it's so weird. What's all we got? Adam Van Wickler right over there, and we have MCU Collector and Fabio, and yeah, the, these this She Hulk looks really really awesome. Fun to pose around and everything. I was already giving Ryan my gripes about the fist that there's like this angle thing, but. Um, I'm mostly really happy with this. I, I feel like Hasbro's kind of missed the ball with a lot of She-Hulk figures, and this one looks like she's going to be the very best one. I really like the hair a lot. The The hair looks really cool, and yeah, and from some of the images, it looked like the feet were too big, but it's not really no, or so noticeable um, having it in person. We have the Mark II right there, Model II, uh, and that gold is fairly inconsistent on the figure like the boots are really shiny but the torso is very very matte and then it gets shiny again around the edges of the gloves so it's a little bit weird in that regard but i think i'm gonna be okay with it i don't know i'm, I'm glad that they're making it but um yeah that one i actually did not pose around at all the only two i actually posed around were she hulk and the model 20 iron man and that one you're gonna see me do a demonstration of uh, just a little bit but not the she hulk um but yeah, this figure looks sick. I, I'm really stoked about it. it. It just looks really awesome. I always thought this was a really cool design. And I've been wanting Hasbro to redo that figure for quite some time now. So um, yeah, I wanted to try to get a look at the back of the figures over here. I want to walk around, get the other side. And yeah, you can see that She-Hulk hair sculpt right there. It looks really, really good. You can see how they painted the back of it and everything. Uh, here, you can see the capes right here. I feel like we're looking at new capes right? Uh, I think those are new capes. And yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's just nice to look at the back of the figures and look at the detail right there on the back of the Iron Man. Oh, that looks so sick. Yeah. So very stoked for these. And um, yeah, I'm going to pick them all up for sure. Um, I, I don't know what the price point is. Uh, it, I think they didn't give all that information out. I think they just talked about when pre-orders would go up. But um yeah, and I don't have that information off the top of my head either. So I, I don't know exactly when these are going to go up for pre-order. I'm recording this. It's pretty late at night right over here. But yeah, I think they did a really good job with these. I am stoked for them. And uh, yeah, let's get a look at that Iron Man figure. And here we go. Uh, so very grateful there. Let me pose it around. It comes with the blast effect right there. And then another effect I think that he could use. Now I tilted the hand up in a way. Uh, where I thought it looked cool, but I had to kind of pop that hand out a bit in order to do that. And you can see the head looks up very far. I'm really stoked about that. And I cracked into these uh, butterfly joints over here, and these butterfly joints work out really, really well. Love ha having really good-looking and good-functioning butterfly joints on an Iron Man figure. That's great. Shoulders rotate around with those, with those pads. Diaphragm joint turns side-to-side, -side, pivots really well. And yeah, at first I was kind of timid about, you know, moving the legs around while it was attached to the little thing, but they have this, you know, sticky tack that they could, you know, just have it stick back on there again. Um, but yeah, that, that, that figure looks really, really good, man. I'm really happy with the posability of it. This is my favorite reveal. I mean, look at that flying pose right there. That looks pretty sweet. So yeah, I have that coming apart right over there. But, ah, dude, very, very happy with 
how this one looks. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Damn, I'm just kind of looking at the figure again. I wish I could have played with it longer. And I dropped a hand again. Ah, oh, damn it, you stupid ass. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think this is better than the Toy Biz one. And I loved the Toy Biz one. So that makes me even happier uh, with this figure. The, this is the one, man. Uh, out of the, <laughs> they got them all of those. The, that's the, the one I'm the most looking forward to. They teased a Quinjet over here so there's a tiny little quinjet i don't know if that's gonna and then this is the model or the design i i, I think it might go with the beyonder i don't know but like who's getting this um it you know i don't think yeah th this was not to be included with count nefaria or anything so i think that's like yeah and then i had to take a peek at the transformers stuff and i'm not really into getting the uh you know the the video game figures I actually had the first side swipe but i ended up selling it a while ago i think uh but the studio series figures that they have over here oh my god dude but the side swipe looks pretty sweet yeah, i can't say it looks bad um and i've been seeing the star scream on the shelves but i can't pick it up but yeah we have swoop over here and he looks awesome he doesn't look too small like he looks the size that exactly the size that i was hoping he would be he's got to be you know, the smallest of the five, but he does not look way too small, and he looks nice and chunky, and, oh, man, the paint apps, uh, the, the sculpt on him, look, look at both modes. Wings do look a little on the small side. I don't know, but they're folded, tilted upward a little bit. They're not splayed completely flat out right there. I think it looks good. I, I'm very satisfied. Look at the gold on that beak. Oh, man. Yeah, and you get the weapon storage on the back. So that swoop looks great. We have another concept figure right here with Sunstreaker. I don't mind them doing this at all. <laughs> now, ever since I got the Megatron, I'm like, well, damn it. Now I'm just going to get whatever concept figures that they, they put out there. But, oh, I was so stoked for this. We got Shockwave right over here. Shout out Epic Voice Guy, John Bailey. He did the voice of Shockwave in the Bumblebee movie, and I'm so happy to finally get this figure. Um, yeah, Ben was able con to confirm that he does have ankle pivot. Greetings. Hello. Uh, my question is for the bearded Decepticon. <laughs> 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 is John Bailey and the voice of Bumblebee Shockwave. Woo! Very important question for you. Is there a limit on how many Shockwaves I may purchase? And does he have an ankle pivot? You're welcome, <laughs> But no bicep swivel, unfortunately. But this looks so cool. Uh, oh, man, I'm so happy for this. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. And uh, I'm just super happy for uh, Epic Voice Guy, John Bailey, getting his getting uh, his, his figure right over here. Uh, yeah, uh, there he goes. That, there he is in action figure form. And then, yeah, this Sunstreaker looks way too cool. Um, then they're probably going to do a side swipe also. So um, I don't remember them announcing side swipe. So, uh, but they should. They probably will. But that figure looks dope. Uh, I feel... Funny getting those concept figures, but hey, uh, I'm happy that they're doing them. Damn. Oh, there's added some extra dry brushing right there on the shoulder side swipe. Forgot to mention that. So, yep, these look pretty awesome. Everyone's all stoked. There's bad. Hey, what's up? All right. Let's move on to the G.I. Joe figures. All right. So uh, they have these O-ring or G.I. Joe uh, Ghostbusters first, but the O-ring Ghostbusters look pretty cool. The Echo one does look pretty sweet. And um, I feel like the classified reveals were uh, a little bit limiting. And, um, yeah, so they did not have uh, the vehicle out at all. I forgot the name of it, you know. I'm not really familiar with it, but I want it. Because <laughs> everything that they're doing looks sick. That's not... Um, Snow Serpent right over here, I definitely want. The Beachhead, um, I, I could do without the, the updated repaint version over there. But, yeah, Snow Serpent looks hella badass. That looks so damn cool. Definitely have to get that one. Oh, man, I love... The, yeah, you guys know I like the blue and white scheme. Just looks really, really cool. Um, but, yeah, Beachhead over there. Uh, I could pass on him. He looks badass, but I don't know. I, I got the one Beachhead already, so I'm okay. And um, I'm just trying to zoom in here to get those paint details because they did change him up a bit. I think he has updated pinless joints throughout. Yeah, updated pinless joints. And then we have Eel over here and um you know that i have one already i actually paid kind of my cobra eel i think i spent a little bit extra you know just to get it but hey there it is could have just waited a little bit longer and bought a brand new one like this but hey whatever I, i'm i've been happy to have it oh yeah there's ryan ting with uh 
parallel universe and we have odious over there <laughs> i wanted to throw that in then that's a odious pose i put in there's good to see everybody I had a great time with the west coast action figure reviewer people over there hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more <laughs> sorry about that all right i will catch you guys later and uh yeah hope you enjoyed it hit that like button hit that subscribe button peace Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.